What do you get when you combine a head shaving event and St. Patrick's Day? Now, St. Baldrick's, of course. What does that mean? It means a lot of bald heads and pints of Guinness. But much more importantly, it means money for a great cause. You know, to be part of, you know, something like that is just wonderful. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. A bit of excitement and anxiety on this day. I've wanted to do this my whole life. <laughs> This group gathering as they have the past eight years at Jeff's Barbering in Mount Pleasant. All right, Brendan, how bad does that look? <laughs> a festive atmosphere, but a serious issue. Nearly two dozen people getting their heads shaved, bald, to raise money and awareness for childhood cancer research is all part of the St. Baldrick's Foundation. It's a sacrifice they do that they feel like it's something they can give when they feel like everything else is out of their hands. I can give up my hair so these kids don't feel like they're different and to tell them, hey, this is okay. We're going to do it. <laughs> Jeff Richards, his name is on the business. Here we go. Too late to back out now. Had his mother and sister drive down from West Virginia to take part in this event this year. I'm going to cut it all off so I can make a difference in cancer. It's personal for this family. They lost a family member to leukemia when she was just six years old. What we do with the hair is nothing. We just, it hits the ground whenever we do it. Now my sister today, she is, cause she has very long hair. And so we're gonna braid that and then she will send that off to another organization that makes wigs and stuff out of the hair. Oh, I love you. I love you too. We make that choice, but that child didn't have any choice but losing his hair or her hair. And so to give them the opportunity to kind of get a give even, <laughs> it's fun, it's fun. As the shavies, young and old, men and women, honor children who have cancer and see their hair hit the ground, they realize more kids are lost to cancer than any other disease. In fact, every two minutes, a child is diagnosed with this horrible disease. So getting a close cut, just one way to support the St. Baldrick's Foundation, which has raised $340 million in research grant funding since 2005. Supporters with a simple gesture, as every dollar helps. Now, over the years, when we've done these events, we meet the kids and the families who are facing cancer, and that just keeps us going every year. And we want to kind of show them that it is only hair. It will grow back, and you're not alone. You're not fighting alone. And if I can do this simple thing to raise any kind of money whatsoever, I'm willing. So it's the least I can do. I love being a part of the community. Yeah, me too, man. Neighborhood barber. That's right. That's what it's about. That's what it is about. It's all going to be gone, and that's fine. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. And I hope we do well for all you kids. Just keep battling. You're strong. We love you. <laughs> And another great thing about the money raised at this event through the years, it stays here and helps children in the low country. The Medical University of South Carolina has received $340,000 in grants from St. Baldrick's. And it will keep getting the money until one day, hopefully, it's not needed anymore. I don't want to raise funds anymore. I'm done with this. Uh, I, but I swore that and committed that I would do this until childhood cancer was treated like a common cold, per se. But we're getting there. It'll take some time. A low country bald in the Charleston area has raised over $300,000 since 2017. The money raised gives more children the opportunity to receive cutting edge treatment. You can email me at bclark at wcbd.com or go to our website, countondo.com, if you'd like to nominate an everyday hero.